Good morning. Will God abandon his people? Our reading today comes from Jeremiah 31, verses 35 to 37. Here's what it says. Thus says the Lord, who gives the sun for a light by day, the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, who disturbs the sea and its waves roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus says the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, says the Lord. When will God abandon his people? Well, he'll abandon them when the natural order fails. And remember, who is it that controls the natural order? He does. The sun gives its light by day because God designed it to do that. The stars give their light by night, and God designed them to do that. The rotation of the moon and the path of the stars across the night sky, God designed all that too. Quite a designer. The way they move uh, in relation to each other, the way physics works, all that works together because God has ordained that it would work together. It all harmonizes with each other. Hey, the sun, moon, and stars aren't going away anytime soon. Why? Because God has determined to run the universe with consistent laws that work together with each other. And verse 37 reminds us that there is no other entity, there is no other God, no other person, no other power out there that can modify this. If heaven above can be measured in the foundations of the earth, we can't even measure it. We can't measure it in any strong, substantial, absolute, definite way. Can't even get that measurement, let alone make, make the stuff. So God is in control. Who can match God's power? Who can dispute his ultimate sovereignty? Nobody. Come on. Now, this same God has some definite plans. He's going to prevail in the end. Israel doesn't fail. But, you know, God's plan has always been to incorporate into, to include in Israel all those who would be willing to turn to him. Everyone who wants to be an overcomer with God can be through his strength. Not our strength, his strength. Our part is to be faithful now and to be as resolute in our sphere as he is in his sphere. We can trust him. No matter what we see coming or think we see coming, God will not abandon his plans. He will have a people who, in the end, are holy, healthy, and happy. And it's your privilege and mine to become that people. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be that people. Help us to draw close to Jesus. Help us to receive your Holy Spirit power for these last days. Oh, Lord, we want to be right. Lord, we just pray that you will uh, help us. Impress upon us more and more how to draw close to you. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our requests and answering them according to the mercies of your heart and Jesus' heart. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friends, don't plan for God to abandon his people anytime soon. Have a wonderful day today.